What is going on guys, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. My name is George and in today's video we're going to take a look at top 10 watches from Pagani Design. If there's a watch brand on AliExpress that deserves this top 10 list, this is definitely Pagani Design. If you're into your Rolex style homage watches and you also like to do a bit of watch shopping on AliExpress, that means that you're probably familiar with the brand and this is the video for you. I want to do this video just to put all the good watches that they make into one solid list, one solid video. This means that you'll probably buy me familiar with some of the watches that I will be mentioning here today. But like I said, I just wanted to have them all nicely compacted into one solid list. I will leave all the relevant links into the description box below. And now let's get started. All right now, so let's get started. The first one that we have on the list is the PD-1637, and this one costs $66. And the reason why I actually uh, have this on the list is because I actually like the way the dial looks and the way it's made. Now, let me scroll down so you guys can see a bit better on how it looks. Now, these are all renders, but I think overall the watch would look, in even in real life, it actually would look really, really nice. I was looking through the um, customer reviews, there's not a lot of them, it's just one and it just says beautiful watch, price excellent, so that's interesting. Now, what I like about this is, like I said, is the fact that you can see the movement through it. It's an automatic movement, by the way, so let me go through specifications here, sorry, overview. And it is an automatic movement, it is a Hayu 2813, and as far as I know, Hayu is the old name for Seagull. Now, don't quote me on this, I'm not 100% sure, I just Googled it and that's what it said, but I could be wrong. Um, the dial is, um, the crystal is hard lex, so it's a bit of a downside, but at the end of the day, we're always used to getting uh, crisp, sapphire crystal at these lower prices on AliExpress. There's nothing wrong with hard lex, specifically, it's something that costs this much, I wouldn't actually be against it. The case is a bit bigger, it's 43 millimeters, but I think the overall design works. And my personal preferences, I like the blue as well, but the ones that I like the most are the gray, this one with the um, white actually, and the all black here. So I think this would probably be a gray, would you consider it as a gray or a silver? But uh, yeah, it's an interesting design and uh, I hope I can get my hands on one of these things, well, I'll probably just buy one at some stage and just uh, review it for you guys. So the second one that we have on the list, guys, is the model number PD-2770. And this one costs between $63 or $66. Now, I don't have to tell you guys why I actually chose this particular one. It's because it homages the infamous Seiko cocktail time. So let me scroll, uh, let me give you a picture of one that actually resembles that uh, a lot more. Now, Pagani Design are kind of used to putting a lot of AR coating on these glass, on these watches, on the uh, crystal, and you can actually tell specifically in this picture here. Now, these are renders, but it's actually a good reflection and how the watch actually looks. The case size for this is slightly bigger than the actual uh, Seiko. So again, it's 43 millimeters, a thickness of 14, and a lug width of 22. This is also a uh, an automatic movement, so it's a Seagull 2813, and again it's absolutely fine for the what the amount of money that these watches cost i wouldn't actually hold it against them you are compromising a little bit on quality but pagani design have been recently in the last couple of years or so they have been steady in their quality now you can't cannot get them all right because you know yourself how it comes with these watches on aliexpress but at the end of the day i think you're getting an overall uh, decent looking watch and a probably a good product as well most of the time Again, you have a few dial combinations. You can probably go for, I recommend going for the metal bracelet because you can always, always uh, swap it for a um, leather strap. But uh, 66 euros, so you're going from $63, sorry, to uh, 66. So for an extra three euros, $3 for a metal bracelet wouldn't actually do any harm. And again, I always recommend going for that. Yeah, definitely, definitely nice looking watch. So uh, consider it. So the third watch that we have on the list, folks, is the model number PD-2720M, and this one costs $50. And it's very, very simple. The reason why I actually went for this is the dial, and it's, it's because it's a very simple, simple design. And Pagani Design have made a couple of more watches. You'll see down the line within a similar kind of dial layout, and I like the simplicity of it, and I can't, I actually can't, uh, can't argue with that. Even though it is a 
watch that you will buy on AliExpress and it's meant to be kind of a fashion watch and it's a bit more fashion oriented but I actually like the way it looks. Case timer of 43 so this is kind of the trend in the last three watches that we had a look at, the last two actually previous to this. A thickness of 14 with a domed hardlix crystal and a lug width of 22 and this is uh, quartz powered and the movement powering this is a Seiko VD78 movement which you would normally find in Pulsar or Loris watches which are also made under the Umbrella Corporation. Yeah, very simple, very good looking watch. You can only buy it in either white or black. In this case, white is not here. It's not available, but I think if you do a little bit of digging, as you see here, you'd definitely find it. So the fourth watch that we have on the list, folks, is the model number PD-1662, but you're not gonna use the model number when you're gonna search it. You're probably gonna go for the Pagani Design GMT Master 2 homage or the Pagani Design GMT. Now, I don't need to tell you what this homage is. Obviously, it's the uh, Rolex GMT Master 2. So let me scroll down. This actually, let me just go back up there for a second to tell you the price. So it's $95, so $94.73, but you are getting a lot more watch for your money. I'm just going to scroll down and show you guys the uh, specifications and at the same time you get to have a look at the pictures of the watch as well. So this has a thickness of 14, a case diameter of 40 and it also has a lug width of 20 millimeters. Now the movement powering this is an automatic DG5833 and it has a sapphire crystal. So let me scroll up and just we're just going to go through some pictures so you guys can see the clasps, the bracelet and the actual movement. So it has a display case back. So that's the automatic movement there. You can see the custom rotor, which is very, very nice. And it also have a has a solid link, solid end link, milled clasp bracelet, which is amazing. And it also has a hundred meters of stated water resistance. Now I use the word stated because I don't know how water resistant these watches are. But nevertheless, I actually think for $95, you're getting a great looking watch. It does come in a few dial options there. Sorry, not dial options, bezel options. And they all look great in my opinion because of the watch that it, they homage or it homages. So the fifth watch that we have on the list guys is the model number PD-1645. And obviously we're getting into more Rolex homage territory now. And this homage is the uh, Rolex Datejust. You can get this in a few dial combinations. And this is, let me just scroll down for you guys to have a look at the spec sheet. This has a case timer of 42, a thickness of 12, and it has a lug width of 20 millimeters. And it features the Seiko NH35A movement. If you're not familiar with it, it hacks at hand winds. It has around 40 hours, 42 hours of power reserve and has a service interval of around 10 years. So chances are you're probably just gonna buy another watch before the uh, movement needs servicing. Again, you have a few dial combinations here. Uh, you're also getting this on a Jubilee bracelet, so it doesn't come in on, on a uh, leather strap, it only comes on a Jubilee. It's actually a lovely looking uh, Jubilee. I prefer them, they're super comfortable and they actually suit the overall aesthetic of the watch. $90 might be a bit steep, but uh, I think it's overall uh, all worth it. So definitely, definitely consider it if you're into your uh, Rolex style homages. So the sixth watch that we have on the list, guys, is the model number PD-1659. And this is another Rolex Submariner homage, but with a twist. You can actually see the dial, see the dial, see the movement through the dial. So it has a skeletonized dial. And another interesting thing about this particular watch, guys, I'm just going to scroll down and uh, show you guys the spec sheet. So it is the model number that I mentioned, 1659. Thickness of 13, case diameter of 43, and it also has a lug width of 22. Now the movement in this is just says 752. And I tried looking for a bit of extra information about the movement, but I couldn't. So I actually think it's a, some kind of variation of something of a uh, Guanzhou, Guanzhou movement, that the one that you find on the Bodri, because I'm saying that because it says on the dial power three days. So again, it has a 72 hour power reserve. Now this costs $115, so overall it's it's a bit steep for a Pagani design, but I think it's an interesting looking watch, it has that interesting looking dial. And again, you're getting a 72 hour power reserve from $115. Uh, 
Nevertheless, you can get it on a black, you can actually black dial and black bezel, or you can actually get it all black, or you can get it on blue, or if you are into your Rolex style Hulk homage watches, definitely go for the green. So the seventh watch that we have on the list, folks, is the model number PD-1654, and this costs $38. And this watch's party piece is, let me scroll down for you guys to see, is the Seiko VH65 movement. I'm just gonna go through the specs and I'll get to that in a minute. So a case diameter of 40 millimeters, a thickness of 11, and that also includes another, another piece of domed, uh, Hard, hard Lix crystal, and it has a lug width of 20 millimeters. Now, the beautiful thing about the VH65 movement is that if you're not into your, if you like your automatic movements, and if you would get this quartz movement, the second hand would move as opposed to one time per second, so once per second, it moves, it ticks four times per second, so it eliminates that whole kind of pause with, that you would get of the second sign that you would get with a quartz movement so and it also eliminates the fact that if the watch is kind of bad quality and it doesn't hit the marker the markers that it's supposed to hit on one on one tick per second this kind of eliminates that feeling and you get you it makes you feel a little bit better about yourself that you're wearing an automatic uh, movement which is not you would also get this in a few dial combination uh, combinations it just comes on a uh, leather strap and you can get it in either black or blue, I actually think this is again the cocktail blue version and you can actually get a, a, a rose gold, well, ro a gold, this is actually the rose gold and a black dial. Overall, it's a nice looking dress watch and you can see here a bit of that AR coating that I mentioned earlier on. Uh, even at this price point, Pagani Design still puts a lot of AR coating like I mentioned on their watches. So watch number eight guys is the model number PD-1649 and this homages a Tag Heuer Otavia. So with this one, Pagani Design wanted to just give Rolex a break, so they uh, looked elsewhere. Nevertheless, this one costs $75. The watch that it homages costs $2,500. This has been on AliExpress for a little while now. I think it's one of their earlier releases. This is kind of the one that uh, kind of got them started. So I'm just gonna scroll down for you guys to have a look at the spec sheet. So it has a case thickness of 15, so it's slightly bigger than the ones that we mentioned earlier on, and it has a case diameter of 44, and it has a lug width of 22. And it also features, again, the Seiko NH35, Hacks and Wines, a 42 hours power reserve, and a service interval of 10 years. I was gonna say 10 hours. And it has Hardlix Crystal. Now, we are used to these watch brands at slightly higher prices of $75 to give a sapphire crystal. We demand we demand sapphire crystal even at $75. Even though Seiko for $150, for actually $400 would not give you sapphire crystal. Nevertheless, it's a great looking watch. Definitely consider it. I still think it's worth having a look at if you're into your tag world. So the ninth watch that we have on the list is the Pagani PD 2720K. And this one comes in at $49.80 or $50. I don't know why I said $49.80 because 20 cents doesn't, don't matter that much. But this watch's party piece is that Mega Quartz movement. So the Seiko VK67 movement. I'll tell you in a second what it is. So a thickness of 12.8. So it has a domed Hardlix crystal, a case diameter of 46, which is not 46 millimeters, and a lug width of 22 millimeters. The thing about that is that is not 46. If you have a look for a review on uh, YouTube for this particular model, the case will be measured at around 43 or 42.5 or something, but definitely not 46. Now, back on the movement. So the movement is a Seiko, Seiko Mecha Quartz movement. So it has a, it's a hybrid mechanical movement and it has a mechanical feel of the pushers, the chronograph pushers. So basically when you press to start the chronograph hand and then you reset the chronograph hand it'll just snap back into place at the 12 o'clock position normally you'd find this movement and watches that cost slightly more around 150 200 at quartz watches quartz movements and this one costs like under 50 dollars it is insane and if you like if you it's more in the fashion watch kind of style but i actually like it i think it's a great looking watch and it comes on a metal uh, metal bracelet and they will give you a box 
plus a gift if you actually go for uh, this particular this particular watch or if you buy it from this particular store from the Chinese factory watch store. Definitely consider it. It's actually very, very nice and I think it's well made. I think it's a good alternative to something of the like the Daniel Wellington or some those some of those fashion brands. Uh, I wouldn't pay that much money, but uh, this one I would definitely would. It's definitely worth it because I know that the movement is reliable. So last but not least guys is the model number PD-1651 and this one costs $94. Let me scroll down for you guys to have a look on what you're getting for your $94. Clearly it homages a Rolex, um, Rolex or Mariner and the bezel is from the Yachtmaster. So you're getting a thickness of 13, a case diameter of 40 and you're getting a lug width of 20 and you're also getting a Seiko NH35. Now this is the kind of movement that you would probably find around the at uh, this kind of price and also you're getting a sapphire crystal now it's not mentioned here but also the ceramic bezel uh, the uh, bezel insert is ceramic i don't know why they didn't put that there because it would obviously attract a lot more people to buy the watch but then again this is aliexpress and this is one of the compromises so you kind of expect these kind of uh, surprises you can get this on a metal bracelet with a blue dial and you can get it on a black dial also on a metal bracelet or you can get it on a NATO strap. So that was it guys. Those are my top 10 watches from Pagani Design. If you feel that I missed anything, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And also do let me know what is your favorite watch from Pagani Design. If you enjoy this video, click a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very, very much for listening to me talk about watches for as long as I did. And I will see you guys again. See ya.